Hi, hey guys, Andy Fudge here, all back with you, you Hawker Show, episode 94. So we had Swint Swee's end. I did have an interesting comment I, uh, I read through. So from, uh, is it PK Kite? Uh, a long time, an all time view for you, you Hawker Show. I always do appreciate the support. So you put, Karama still made a choice with no idea the kid would come back. That is true. Um, his choice was not reverted and nor Amiri felt only the kid's life changed. So once he had plotted this whole thing, he purposely made his kids wouldn't lose his life. Um, would revive him due to Junior being guilty, guilt-stricken. Which is a risk, because maybe uh, his <laughs> passion to stop Sensu might have been bigger. Uh, it makes sense why, why why, and still doesn't resort Karama's, Karama, Karama, Karama's choice. Uh, it would be one thing to literally rewind time or tell Karama right after he made the choice during. Yeah, my, my thing is though, I agree with your points that it doesn't technically reverse his choice. But for me as a viewer, me personally, it still reverts the impact of that choice uh, for me when I'm watching. I think I like the idea that he, he, he obviously made the choice without knowing him coming back and he didn't get reverted straight away. But it's just still that development for me personally, seeing him go through all that, knowing that the kid's fine now, um, loses the impact and emotional impact for me as a viewer watching. I am just against just bringing back people. If you kill a character off, I'm just against bringing them back. I don't care. Some shows I let off, like I think Merlin did it. Merlin did it recently. Not going to say what, just in case you haven't watched Merlin, but that did a fantastic way of doing it, where you can bring a character. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. I think you can just avoid it completely. It added no keeping him alive. I didn't know. Why really, apart from maybe making sense, 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 we seem like a better person, which would make sense from that point of view. Um, because obviously, like I said, he planned it out. I don't know, I'm just not, I'm just never a fan of it. It's like the whole so, for example, I will use Fairy Tale, I know a terrible example, but that uses the thing where it's like, yeah, they had a character, I think it was one of the sisters, uh, died. Um, it led to a bunch of development and gave character to like Natasu and um, one of the barmaid from the sister being lost. And it just kept adding character to them because it was like, oh, you feel bad. And it goes fast, but it's sad seeing the character. And then they just keep the character alive for no reason and bring him back, which never reverted all development they had as characters because now they have nothing going for them. Um, <laughs> all the sad, sad the source of guns. With Crab, I guess it's not. I guess you're right in the sense that obviously he still made the choice and it still shows that, he is, that he's willing to do that, which, yes, I do appreciate. I'm glad it did that. But for me, as a view, just me as a viewer personally, I'm just like, oh, you just took away. Okay cool <laughs> there was no consequences for it really because the kid's back it's just that uh, he made the choice which is still development still there for his character and that's i fully understand i just i don't know i'm just i, don't, I just i'm just against it in general i just think like yeah i think it's more i just got uh I, i'm more set this line because i think if you make rules and bend it then shows sort of you should i don't know it's just i wish shows just didn't do it in general <laughs> i don't think i've ever watched a show where they've brought by a character back and i'm like oh um, yeah great like i know they're gonna do it with stranger things when that comes out and it's ruined that for me when i find out i'm just like just commit commit <laughs> like you know like naruto i was when we were watching a reaction to naruto pain arc and I'm just like, I wish it committed. Like, I'm watching some of the reactors and how like, sad they're getting over some of the deaths in it. But it's just like, they haven't committed to any of them. Like, I'm watching them, like, they've not committed to any of these. You know how much better it would have made that arc if they just committed to it? But no, they've just backtracked all of them. And it's just like, ah, oh, I hate it. Ah, oh, it triggers me. But no, I, I agree with some of you. I agree with you. I agree with your points. You made a good argument. And I appreciate you taking the time to comment. I actually enjoyed I actually enjoyed reading it. I always enjoy reading people with kind of arguments. It's like, I know my opinion is not necessarily right. It's just my personal opinion on stuff. It's just like, yeah, no, I'm always good when people have rebuttals, and I think that was a, a, a good argument. Um, but yeah, thanks for leaving that comment, and thank you for supporting the York Show reactions. Um, I probably made no sense, I was just rambling there, but I don't know, I just got a personal vendetta against it. <laughs> um, but other than that, I enjoyed the sense of I think it's been fantastic. I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to wrap it up and move on to like the next bit. But yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the reaction. Leave a like, subscribe if you did, and let's jump into this. Victory! My guy needs a fucking haircut. <laughs> I love how she recognizes him straight away. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> Is it going to do triple shot? Triple shot! Oh, damn it, I needed two. Give me a break, like I know how this happened. Hmm. Hold those thoughts, guys. I gotta take care What's the spirit force, anyway? Wait, you just let them get by? Yes, I'm no fool, Utaki. I realized what the consequences would be. 
It's really weird seeing Gwen in his idol format cool. so for so long. Think you can hide behind your uniforms and push decent people around? Uh, look, I don't start fights with the defenseless, but you're starting to piss me off, hmm. and that's a whole different thing. And since you're all new here, I'll give you a tip. Threatening the guy who helps save us will definitely piss me off. <laughs> I love you, this guy. <laughs> He's such a little savage. Go in the whole time. Maybe I did too. And I just can't face that I'm a real monster. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you've definitely made those choices. <laughs> Since he didn't have mind control. I'm just going to disappear. He literally did. <laughs> he just disappeared. Kurama clipped the extra five pounds of hair off me, and the body marks were gone when I woke up in the morning. So it was back to normal. I love how he actually has to get the hair chopped off. I love that. <laughs> cool. But that's how sense we got him to join up in the first place, because neither of them fit in at school and they were angry. I'm worried. I hope they stay out of trouble this time. Come on, boy. Is it kind of like you, huh? Hmm. I want some slice of life episodes. <laughs> I'm just a sucker for him. Tell me to study, be smarter, but they're just watching TV. Every time I bring home grades, it's work harder, son. I wish I could tell them to work harder. Because <laughs> they've already been through it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking kids. Maybe they're kind of like me after all. Yeah, the kids. You're all evil. <laughs> Master, age 12, born November 7th, blood type B, goes on to enter a private junior high. Oh, just give it the whole story. Socialization improves, and now he leads a normal life. Wow, a positive outlook on gaming. He told Togashi plays them. <laughs> All the magnet schools, you're only applying to the best one? Yes, sir. Seaman turned out to be one of the one I hated the most, but ended up liking the most out of all of them. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Otherwise, since we would have killed him two or three times. Too bad. Time's good for me. I get tough every time I come back. He's not. He's not wrong. <laughs> he's not wrong. Let's be honest. Taken away. See ya. We should hang out sometime. They're really, really powerful abilities when you think of it. Anything you do. Slash. I love that chapter Black's all on a VHS It's so quiet. Listen to it. The beauty of nothing. This is kind of creepy. Really, Shinobu. That's me. You've seen the error of your ways now and have come to my open arms. We'll just sit and you'll never have to leave me again. This guy's basically Bates Motel all over again, isn't he? Shinobu Sensui, Black Angel. Former spirit detective, age twenty. He was so young, weren't he? Type A, born June six. Itsuki, gatekeeper. Age, birth, blood type, unknown. No further file has been kept. He's just gonna sit with his dead body for all eternity. Fuck it out. That's commitment. How has the prince replied, Andy? If you know what I mean, I just need the math book I lent him. Open book quiz. Have you checked the roof? I was gonna say that's like the first place to check. There after lunch because he thinks it's nap time. Thanks, Kiko. You just saved one man in his fight for continuing education. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with Kuba? He's absolute lad. Satisfied until I figure out what that other part of me is. I don't care where it takes me. Hmm. A shame the show then, Mitsu. It just seems like it's such a big story to tell. I guess by the word joke, but it felt like it was axed. Fuck you know. Of course, I am looking forward to you to learn a bit more about his demon side. I can see why he wouldn't be so uh, thingy about it, but yeah. And Grandma sort of living in the real world, that's going to be interesting. I think next couple episodes are going to be good. Like I say, it's a bit of a shame. I think Brandon was telling me like it was axed early. Um, because I think it was rushing him to finish the manga. So it's such a shame. Even though we got Hunter X Hunter out of it, it's just like, oh, I feel like this could have gone on for a bit, quite a bit longer. 
Um, I'm looking forward to see what Lex Arc's going to be like. Like I said, Sunset Arc, I think, was actually the top. I enjoyed it quite a lot, I think. I'm surprised it's not talked about as much as the Dark Tournament, because I enjoyed it probably just as much. Um, even though it took over, it's still probably my favourite in, uh, in New York show. Uh, and uh, for a very fun episode. I think it was very straightforward. Um, we just got wrapped up by everyone's sort of storylines. There weren't too much meat to it, just more like... Yeah, we got to see what everyone does. This sort of just left normal lives, most of them. Um, and yeah, shame, shame it just sort of goes on. I think we're never going to see them again, but that was obviously quite clear with only 112 episodes. Maybe you might have done something more of them if the show went on longer. But yeah, no, hopefully you enjoyed the reaction, guys. I haven't been having a lot of fun with Yu and yeah. Hi. Hey, guys. Annie Crunch here, and we're back with Yu Yu Hawk Show episode 95. So we're getting emotional because we're getting near the end of the Yu Yu Show. I think, what, episode 95? was 112 episodes. So we've got one more, one more arc in I'm guessing. Yusuke wants to find out about his demon, demon form. Um, Kai did find that point out last episode that he has got. He's got, he's got a habit. As soon as he's back at school, he gets bored instantly. No one wants to go kill demons again. Um, so I'm looking forward to see what he's going to do. How are they going to wrap it up the sort of the series in 12 episodes? I'm not expecting too much because I've not heard great things about the New York show ending. So I've sort of prepared myself that I know it's not going to end great. Um, which is a shame, but from what I gathered, I, I can't... I think it's either he got forced to end it in Shonen Jump or he was done with the series and he wanted to wrap it up. Either way, I'm not, I know, I I'm, I'm know not to be like expecting like a fucking great ending. Um, which, to be fair, I'd rather know at this point because um, it'd be a bit of a shame if I didn't know. You know I've sort of got to the last episode and I just thought I was, uh, I don't know how it ends, I just know it's not meant to be very like amazing. But I'm still interested to see what they're going to do for the last few episodes. I am looking forward to if probably maybe a few last last episodes. And I am looking forward to the they did a short OVA, didn't they, that I want to watch as well. But yeah, no, I'm on my journey for your show. I mean, even if it doesn't end well, it's been a hell of a blast. Um, and I've enjoyed so many episodes of this series. And I'm so glad I got to start it. And I got to see the beginnings of Takashi's writing for Hunter x Hunter. And it was nice to see that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you leave a like, subscribe. I wonder how. I wonder how can we just stop using the baby form now? Does he not like? <laughs> I prefer him being in this form. To be fair. Jesus, she's still about. She took a very different path than Sensui, and she's much more like you than I am. So maybe she can help. Hmm. I love how we, there's so much lore we could build upon the world. We've got the whole S rank demon area, and, it's, and it, feel, oh, it feels like I'm not going to touch upon any of it. It's going to be like dark content all over again from Hunter X Hunter. Honestly, why do I even bother? No, oh, shut up, like you care. They're not like a good teacher now. You children tell me what happens when you take one rotten apple and put it oh, in there we go. Of good ones. You make fun of this jerk together. <laughs> Whoa, that's a talent. Jesus, come on. I can't believe he's used like two poop as a remedy. Man, what is that <laughs> why is it everyone I gotta meet is <laughs> intense kids? Pretty fast to be fair though. Children. Hmm. I'll find you this fingers. <laughs> Jesus kids. Come on a bit. <laughs> Imagine if he was just a normal human now across the path and he just got attacked by magic. Maybe she's not incapacitated. Why, Mom? Look! I stopped! I stopped! <laughs> Top kid. <laughs> it wasn't me. Just a fucking female version of Sensu. Well, to be fair, actually, it's. <laughs> well, then. Maybe sensory sister. Sorry about the welcoming party. I've trained them to attack without question any time they sense demon energy. Oh, yeah, obviously, that's why they attacked him. Okay. <laughs> I always keep forgetting he's got fucking demon energy now. Yeah, you're ready for the playground. Well, we've got cool names, don't we, sis? Yeah. No, 
now, kids, you should introduce yourselves properly. Kay. <laughs> Kay. <laughs> Such an unnecessary I'm flip. Nine years old. I memorize TV shows. Fantastic I'm power. I'm eight years old. Be quiet, kids. Use Kay. Are you thirsty? I wonder why she like quit being a spirit detective. Yeah, I'd be rude to say no. Oh, me. Brandy for me. Me too. <laughs> All right. Which is funny that the first ever spirit detective is still alive. But should you really be giving liquor to kids? Unless she's like really fucking old. Brandy, they need you too much. Here, let my husband read your future. No, it's for Shella. <laughs> sure. You, I see death, That's destruction. Man, you want it doesn't matter now, Yusuke. The danger will come to you. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Seems like they're ready for a Yu Gi Oh! duel. <laughs> Don't hide. Oh, they're just going to, okay, they're just going to show up. <laughs> Oh, who's that voice actor? Oh, who is he? Who is he? Oh, fuck! Oh, whatever. If one of you know, let me know. I'll probably Google him afterwards. To be fair, if you can find a way to get to Demon World. The thing is, I really want to they can really expand on Demon World, but I know they're not going to. <laughs> There's not a lot of long left. Well, anyway, to be fair, we could like, this could actually be like a quite a small arc. I don't know if maybe this arc goes pretty well and then it's a, like a little one. Alright. No, to be fair, I actually enjoyed that. Cause meeting for a spirit detective. I'm, I'm curious about the ages of the spirit detectives. Like, how far back are we going? Um, but no, she wants to settle down. She looks very like sensory, though, female version. Um, Yusuke just sort of, like, doesn't know what to do at the moment. Uh, which is fair. I wonder if there's ways of he can get back and forth between Demon World, because that would solve his little problem. He could then investigate his mystery and still fight powerful enemies. Um... But you know, I like the fact they added in the fact he doesn't want to leave because he would miss everyone so much. It's not sort of like a Goku situation where Goku would just fucking fly off and leave his family. Whereas Yusuke would still want to stay with the people he knows and loves. But he just wants to explore what, well, his, <laughs> his destiny, let's say. Um, I'm looking forward to see how this arc's going to go. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these reactions. We're near the end. It's been like a fucking long journey. I know I've been a bit shit on YouTube, but I've enjoyed Oh, mate, you York shit. Generally, just been so much fun. I'm, oh, I'm gonna miss it so much. I, I can understand why it's so loved love now. I knew I'd love it because I love Funo because it's my favourite anime. So I knew I'd love Takashi's other work, and I just always held off for so long not watching it. And I'm very glad I got around to doing it. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed the action. If you do, 